Let's play video games! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of your man Rig Trump Nope. Hey everybody, uh, Regatron here, and today I'm going to be discussing a few things that have to do with video games. Okay, so kind of jumping around, this video is going to be a little extended because one of my other videos broke 100 views! Yay! So, I mean, I guess it does deserve some sort of celebration of a little bit, so there's pretty much two parts to this video. A lot of people have been asking me to, like, do gaming on this channel and stuff, and I've been thinking about it, but I don't really want to do gaming on this channel. And so that's why I made an entirely another channel called Regatron Gaming. So you make sure to check it out and uh, like, subscribe, do all things right there. Basically do all the same things that you would on this channel. But if you like video games, do that. And if not, you don't have to. But you should still check them out. So actually the very first game that I'm going to be playing and uploading, in fact I think I might even have it uploaded already today, depends on whether or not you're watching this in the future right now. But the first game I'm going to be doing is uh, one of Nintendo's newest games, Super Mario Odyssey, for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you look at the day that this video came out, it did come out a few weeks ago, and I had wanted to do a Let's Play on the day of, or maybe even the day after, because I knew after that lots of people are going to be wanting to do stuff like that. But the reason I didn't, I have a tale of woe, which I will now share with you. So I order this package, okay, Th this Amazon package, it's a nice Amazon Prime package with the pre-order of Super Mario Odyssey and a capture card. So I order both of these and of course this is on Amazon Prime and I order these on a Monday. Mario Odyssey was going to come out that Friday and so I knew I would expect it then. But then the capture card said it would be coming on Thursday. So I waited until eventually Thursday, and a package eventually arrived at my door. But it wasn't mine, it was my mother who had ordered some other packages. And at the end of the day I was disappointed, but I was just like, okay, I, I can wait until tomorrow. The next day came, waited the entire day, Mario Odyssey showed up, so that was great, but I really didn't want to play it until I had my capture card. Of course I couldn't resist and so I played it and yeah, it's awesome game. But as well as Mario Odyssey, another package for my mother showed up which was not mine so I got disappointed then. And then the next day, on Saturday, a package showed up and it wasn't mine! <laughs> going through school, came back, and there was a package, but it was for my- <laughs> But it did come Tuesday the next day, at 6.30 in the morning. I was asleep when the package came. My mother actually woke me up saying, hey, something's here for you. Sure, I jump right out of bed, and then I rip it open, and... Yeah. So I then use that and I work with it and it's great and now I'm using it and you guys should love it too and you guys should check out my channel and subscribe. Now another thing I wanted to talk about is from the comments. What games would you want to see on a Nintendo 64 Classic console next year? Now for any of you who don't know, the Classic consoles, Nintendo is doing kind of a throwback thing where they take their first consoles and then they kind of upgrade them into minier versions, basically for nostalgic purposes, and they're kind of nice. And the next one presumably is a Nintendo 64, which you can look that up. Now, I've got some of my personal favorite games, and some of them aren't my personal favorite, but I still think they should go up, so I'm going to be listing the top five games that I would want to see on a Nintendo 64 Classic console next year, or this year, last year, depends on what time you watch this video. At number five, I'm going to go up the list, I would say we should have Banjo-Kazooie, and uh, the, I personally haven't played that game, but I've heard a lot of people really enjoy it, and so I kind of think that it should be up there. Number four, 
007 Goldeneye for the Nintendo 64. Now, that game pretty much started modern first-person shooter games. Sure, obviously it isn't the best, because it is on a 64-bit console, but it was still revolutionary. It changed gaming, pretty much, and so I would definitely like to see that up there. Number three on the list, I would like to see Super Mario 64. That was a love classic. I think it was the first uh, 3D uh, Mario game. I don't know about the others. You can hate in the comments if you want, I don't care. But yeah, that's a really good game, and it's actually very similar to Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey has a lot of throwbacks to it. Number two game that I would like to see is Mario Kart 64. That was not the first Mario Kart, but it definitely was one that really got people into Mario Kart. It was good. It had 3D graphics, 64 bit. It was amazing at the time. And then for my number one, which I'm sure many of you who know the stuff already know what I'm going to say, it is none other than The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The very first 3D open world Legend of Zelda game, which at the time it had great story, great graphics, like amazing graphics, and it was just an all-around good game, and so I would be blown away if Nintendo does not add that to a Nintendo 64 classic console, assuming they do it anyway. So there you go, there's my personal favorite uh, games that I think should go on to the Nintendo 64 classic. You can comment what you want, what you guys would want to see right there. Those are just my personal suggestions, and I'm sure they're going to have a lot more, but those are my top five. As many of you probably know, Halloween was a few days ago. As I'm getting older, many people are much frowning upon older kids going out and trick-or-treating. Which, guys, let me tell you, if older kids want to go trick-or-treating, just let them. Even if they just go with their younger siblings or hand out their bag for candy, sure, many people will probably still frown on them. <clears throat> Give him the angry eye. But if you're watching this and you come up on Halloween and you see an older kid who wants candy, go ahead and give it to them. Candy is a universally loved thing. And if you don't love candy, get out. Just let them have it. And so I really didn't get too much candy for Halloween this year. It wasn't my choice to stop trick-or-treating. So I actually had several costume ideas beforehand. My first one, you know, for Halloween, we're supposed to dress up as a monster, so I was thinking of dressing up as Adolf Hitler. You know, I discarded that idea pretty quickly. But then, since my parents really didn't want to see me in costume, I put on a NASA shirt, and I was going dressed up for Halloween as an interstellar planetary exploration enthusiast, obviously. Of course, a lot of people weren't getting that, and uh, so later on in Halloween, I changed into a karate gi, which that was fun. I do take karate, yes, and so it was real. But anyway, so I went trick-or-treating with my uh, little brother dressed in a karate gi, who he literally dressed up as Mario from Super Mario Odyssey, and I, <laughs> I kind of thought that was uh, pretty cute, and it looked pretty cool, because when I was young, I dressed up as Mario, so he used the same costume, modified it a little bit, and it looks great. So, there's my spiel and feel about Halloween. I mean, Halloween is basically one of those times where it can be almost whatever you want. There's so many things like, you can grow up and be whatever you want, and then on Halloween they say, no, stop dressing up. I'm kind of getting mixed feelings here. So, something else that I actually wanted to talk about, I know I should probably stop doing this, uh, with going along with Halloween, I didn't really do a special episode, sure this is kind of an extended 100 views milestone. Yeah, if you can really call it that. But a couple people actually asked me, why don't you do a Halloween special? Are you going to do Christmas specials and stuff, or subscriber specials? Which, yes, I am, but here's kind of some incentive for you. So, obviously the 100 views thing, I am going to have different specials. For every 1,000 views times 10, so my first video to reach 1,000 views, I'll do a special episode. 10,000 views, another special episode. 100,000 views, and so on. You guys get the idea. And I'm also going to be doing the same thing with subscribers, starting with 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, 1 million subscribers, 1 billion subscribers, 1 trillion subscribers, 1 quadrillion subscribers, yeah, and so on. But once I do that, and 
I am going to say this, once I get 1,000 subscribers, I am just going to do specials on holidays, and maybe if I'm nice, I'll throw in an extra. So if you guys want to see specials and stuff, like I mentioned in my intro video, I am going to be doing skits and sketches. Those are kind of more what I'm gearing towards as special videos. So I will do that, and if you guys want to see those, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, get this out so that people know, because that's the hardest thing. You start off slow, and then it kind of quickly progresses, and then goes down and up, and it's all a whole process. And some of you may have noticed that last week I didn't put out a video, and I'm finding it harder and harder with my schedule to actually put out a video a week. And so I've decided to kind of change that and make it, I will try to get out at least three videos a month, okay? Maybe four, and you guys could expect most of these videos to be uploaded Saturday. That That's just a great time for me to upload stuff. So anyway, hope you guys like this, uh, enjoy, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those stuff, and I'll see you guys when I make my next video. Anyway, bye.